Hi guys, Chucky Boy here, bringing you a very special episode today of my Return to Glory series. Uh, this episode is special for two reasons. Reason number one is it is our first FA Cup game of the season. We have an away game against Chelsea, obviously, as you can see. Not going to be easy at all. Chelsea are a tough team on this game, and my team have been struggling up, up to yet. If you've watched my previous videos, you know we struggle to score goals. We haven't conceded many, but we've struggled to score, so today going to be a tough, tough challenge today. Now, the second reason this episode is a special one is because we have our very first guest of the season. We've got a guest here that's involved in the PES community. He's involved in making kits, and he's going to be involved in other aspects too in the future. Now, you may have seen, if you're on the PES Universe forums, you may have seen his kits. If you're on the PES Gaming forums, you will have seen some of his kits and some of his logos. Now, I'm going to introduce him and we're going to do a little chat today about what he does and how he does it and, you know, how he got started and his whole history and things like that. So in a minute, I'm going to cut to that and it's just going to be a little interview, just a general chat so we can get, you know, get other guys involved in these series and hopefully spread the word about people that make this game what it is to play. Okay, guys. So the intro is, this guy is Blues Till I Die 00 or Tom. Either is fine. Like I said, if you've checked the forums out, I'll put links in the description for his editing forums over on Pez Universe. If you if you already know about his kits, then obviously that's great. If you don't, go check them out. So here's here's the interview, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. Hello. All right, guys. So do you want to start off by just telling people what you actually do? I just make, I make kits for Pez, like, you see in a couple of Chucky Boys intros, it'll say making Pez one face, make Pez better one face at a time. I believe the same, because I know people that don't enjoy Pez because they're licenses, and I felt the same, but I started making kits, and I found kits, and like, I really enjoy Pez now, I find it really good. Yeah, I mean, I, for me, the biggest part about Pez is editing for me. Yeah. Um, and there's obviously there's option files out there, but there's also guys that just do either kits or faces or other things like that that yeah. really add a great deal to this game, I think. What's your what's your feeling about that? Yeah, I always enjoyed the editing on PES. From the first PES I played, I always edited the kits. I was back then I said one of the because I was young. But like with since moving up to next gen and Pretty much, she's at eleven upwards. The editing's gone really high. The pairs introducing the ability to import kits, the stadium faces, it's all great. I think Konami. I, th I think this is Konami's main selling point, really. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I think um, people that that sort of put the series down because they haven't got the licenses don't really understand the whole editing aspect of it. For me. Yeah, I, I look on many YouTube videos like uh, the True Brits and mid the Midnight Kids, and uh, and people say, "Oh no, I won't get this game since uh, I won't be able to play with the real kits, lo logos, and whatever." But it's it's not hard to get on. Obviously, it take a while. Cause it takes a good forty five minutes to install an Octo file, but it's worth it if you think about that. Yeah. So, do you want to talk about a little bit about um, what sort of stuff you use to make your kits, maybe? I use paint.net for the basic ones, but like the DM depth ones where it's got like loads of designs on. I use stuff like Photoshop and GIMP for that. Yeah. Have you got any anything specific you want to talk about? Maybe about PES 2014 or just any any topics you want to discuss? Yeah, PES 14. I, was, uh, I want to talk a bit about how they they they've come out and said around October that. Obviously, third kits will be in the game, and you can, I think they said you can import kits onto any portion of the, uh, insert parts of the kits onto any portion of the, like, the person. So, like, with the Chelsea kit last year, they had the, um, the white stripe, but then it just stopped suddenly. Whereas on PES 12, it, like, went all the way down. So they're gonna add, basically, like, better templates for you to use to make more in-depth kits, Yeah. Kit, so. But you can, then you can import your own templates into the game as well. Alright. That should be interesting. I mean, for me, I we don't know a great deal about edit mode yet, and that's one of the big things for me, making the faces and things like that, and I'm guessing it's the same for you guys that make the kits. Yeah. When we know a little bit more about what we can actually do, we can start getting excited about it, I think. 
Yeah. Obviously, you've seen I try to make faces. I wouldn't say I'm very good, but obviously, I've only made one. No, everyone's got to start somewhere. I mean, my yeah. faces when I first started were absolutely awful. Uh, <laughs> I started off making faces for the J League thread over on uh, Pez Gaming, and they were really yeah. bad. But it's just purely practice, and I'm guessing the kits are the same. Yeah, the, the kits were quite tough. Because obviously they all started out as transparent, because this person done a tutorial on YouTube. So basically all it was was a uh, circle where the badge would go, a uh, square where the like Adidas and Nike would go, and then where the sponsor would go as well. And that was all it was, and you had to just put the kits over that. Yeah. But then I seen then I seen like Nemesis Kid on uh, Pez Gaming and Challenger, and like made me think, oh, I can do that with enough practice. My kits can go that high. Yeah, and for anybody that's uh, wanting your kits, I mean, I know you've got um, your Pez Gaming thread open up now, which you've just started recently. Uh, where yeah. you're doing your own kits and stuff like that, so people can go check that out. So for people that want those, uh, I'll put the links in the description of this video so people can go and find all your stuff nice and simple. Yeah. But you've also got um, your Twitter account as well, which is Blues Till I Die Zero Zero. I'll link that too. Uh, yeah. And you're posting previews, aren't you, on that, so people can see what it looks like. Yeah, but I have like watermarks on them, like just in case. Yeah, I mean it's always nice to watermark your stuff just in case people decide they want to steal it and not give you credit. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's a big part of editing, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, just the internet in general. Yeah. So, um, we spoke a little bit about PES 2014 hopes and things. What What do you think about what you've seen already up here? It looks it's great. Even with the gameplay, like just before it's about to kick off. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a true Brit. Like first half of game, the match gameplay. Like, M Muller comes out and it's like, before the match, he's clapping his hands, like, acknowledging the crowd. But you can see his shirt moving. But like, his sh shirt just to his body language. It, it looks really good. I, I can't wait for it. Yeah, I mean, the, the aspect of uh, the way the atmosphere of the crowd seems to be a big yeah. push this year. I think that might make a big difference to this game. I mean, it looks, to me, it looks completely different to any Pez game we've seen. Yeah, you, you can still see, like, Pez, the Pez 13 graphics, but it looks... Highly updated, it looks really, really good. I, I really can't wait for it. Yeah, yeah it's going to be exciting, I think, definitely. How did you feel? Okay, so you make kits, we can see all those things, but um, what other aspects of editing are you trying to get involved in? Uh, just making stadiums. Uh, I make logos, like HD logos. I'm, I'm starting to make ad boards because I've made a template for them. And maybe in the future, I'll look to get into making faces. But I'm not too sure about that. I mean, uh, a lot of people might not know, but you actually requested the tutorial video that I made uh, last week, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, so it was made for you and other people to use, but you were the one that actually wanted the help, so... But like, Pets Universe, it's a really good website. I can see it overtaking Pets Gamer, so far. I think once it gets up and running and we get more people involved, I think it could be the best website out there because it is really, really, it's driven by the community into its home. Yeah. It's, uh, it's people that play the game and edit the game and all the good things about the game uh, all together, this, so. Like, what you're doing, the story of my season, like, document their game. So I enjoy reading them. I enjoy seeing other people's experiences yeah. with Pass. Yeah, I say that for me, the story of my season's thread, um, once it gets going, it will be amazing because it's not, I've never done it before. This is my, yeah. this is my first one. Uh, and I've never really read them before, but the other guys that have done it have done it in the past. They've done it really good. So. So, apart from Pez, what other gaming influences have you got? Have you got any other special games you like to play or is it just purely Pez at the moment? I'm really enjoying The Last of Us. It's a really good game. Have you actually got the game yet? I'm guessing you're playing it and enjoying it? I've played bits of it around my mates, yeah. and my stepbrother's got it out as well. I haven't actually got that game yet. Um, I'm watching it... the Pro Spartan Gamers walkthrough at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but from, I like, I really enjoyed the Uncharted series. So I, I've never played the Uncharted series. You've never played the Uncharted series? I, nah. But... If you've got a PS3, I would, I would suggest trying to get those games, because they yeah. are... They are very similar to The Last of Us. Obviously, it's the same company that make them. Um, no, I, I, when I first seen the trailer for The Last of Us, I didn't, I weren't really interested in it, but 
I see my brother playing it, and it's it's a really good game. Yeah. The amount, and uh, I think it's Naughty Dog's the company that make it. Yeah, it is, yeah. Like, they don't release games often, but when they release them, they're, they're that high quality. And that's what, and, but I just wish Konami and EA did the same. So I wouldn't mind waiting two years for a really high quality game that you can play for two years. Yeah. I think the big thing about Pez is, for the last two, maybe three games, we've got pretty much the same game from out every year. With yeah. a few little differences. Whereas this time, 2014 is completely different. So this is the game we've been waiting for, for like the last three or four years now, I think. And this yeah. is, is going to change the whole landscape of the actual Pez community. Because you're going to have to learn the game from scratch. You can't play the game like you would play 2013 or 2012. Yeah. I think it's going to force you to learn how to play the game completely differently. Yeah, I, I think that they're definitely going to fix, like, cerebral spamming and, like, the, the reason I don't play online, basically, like, cerebral spamming and Van der Merch. Yeah. The legend that is Van der Merch. Oh, so OP. Yes. Okay, guys, so there was the little interview we had. It wasn't, you know, anything special. It was just a chat that we had over Skype, and I recorded it. Thought it might be nice to get somebody else's input in one of these videos for a change. And obviously, he's a Chelsea fan, if you don't know that. So it was quite appropriate that we picked this game to do it in. Now, as you can see, we've got all the way to penalties. We managed to hold out of Chelsea. We've conceded a goal. Managed to score a goal, too, for the first time in a few games. So it was nice. This game wasn't easy at all. It was not easy in the slightest. So we managed to get all the way to penalties. Now, you will not know that I suck at penalties. In-game, in a normal game, in a shootout, doesn't make any difference. I am awful at penalties. So, I think you can guess what's going to happen here. Just leave me enough time to mention... Blue Still I Die zero, 00, all his links are in the description. If you want to go check out his kits, uh, go over to the Pez Universe thread. I'll put that in there. And I will also put his Twitter account in there so you can see the previews, all the other good stuff. Leaves me just enough time to say Frank Lampard scored the winner. We're out of the FA Cup. What a shame. Hopefully we can transfer the good the good match, though into a decent form for the league, league games coming up. Leave me enough time to say thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.